Thanks, Mark. Um, I uh, uh, agree with uh, most of what's already been said here. Um, I guess this isn't one of those those panels with uh, with fisticuffs. Um, I have to congratulate uh, Mark and the Center for Immigration Studies for their sort of, uh, I guess it's a counter-cyclical intellectual policy. <laughs> Uh, as uh, Jim Gimple suggested, not many people right now are thinking about the demise of Republican <laughs> political prospects, as uh, the professor's subtitle um, calls it, uh, but they ought to be. Um, uh, I agree also that both the economy and the normal patterns of a midterm are disguising serious problems for the Republican Party. Um, the uh, problem of the way demographic change is... Uh, Affecting the party's prospects is, I think, not the most important problem that Republicans have uh, in 2012, um, which is about as far ahead as political strategists are looking. Actually, it's further than a lot of them are looking. Uh, but it may be the most important problem in the long run. Uh, I think it should be obvious that uh, immigration, or at least the kind of immigration and the level of immigration that we have, helps the Democrats. And... Uh, uh, Professor Gimple does a nice job both of quantifying that effect and of suggesting some of the mechanisms um, by which it happens. Uh, one thing that strikes me about what he's saying is that uh, uh, it does sh shed some light on the currently prevailing line among Republicans on the immigration question, uh, which I think most of its adherents would describe as being pro-legal immigration and anti-illegal immigration. And... Uh, yeah, you know, these numbers I think suggest that whatever the merits of that policy, it is a politically self-defeating position, because it amounts to enthusiastically supporting the influx of new Democratic voters, while also pledging to harass their friends, relatives, and neighbors. Um, one qualification that I don't think that uh, uh, probably probably anybody here would necessarily dispute, um, is that a pause in immigration, such as the pause that we had in 1925 to 65, could change these patterns, as, um, as in fact happened with the previous immigrant wave. Uh, you had assimilation uh, that uh, I think proceeded faster because there wasn't this constant new influx of, uh, of people doing things like suppressing wages at the low end, for example, and this uh, eventually had effects on voting behavior. You saw the realignment of some of these groups. Um, the questions I would have about uh, the paper is what follows from this analysis? As David has suggested, the partisan impact of a policy of uh, Immigration is not by itself, I think, a legitimate reason to change it. Um, but I do think that sort of the reasons that this mass immigration have hurt the Republican has hurt the Republicans um, are point to trends that that are of legitimate concern for public policy, such as uh, such as the rise in inequality, the decline in cultural cohesion, the reduction in uh, economic self reliance. Um, those are the reasons, I think, that the, that the immigration is changing American politics and there are reasons for concern. Um, sort of even, a, sort of a Demo even a Democrat concerned about the national interest and happy about the partisan effects of this policy ought to be concerned about those things. But I think the bigger question is, assuming that Republicans agreed that it was in their interest to have less immigration, how would they achieve that? I mean, could Republicans actually reduce or su substantially reform our immigration policy if they decided that that's what they wanted? And I'm skeptical. A majority of public opinion usually favors reduced immigration levels, but can this majority be mobilized? I don't see much evidence that there's any uh, intensity there. It strikes me as highly likely that um, voters who vote on immigration would be more likely, there'd be more likely to be people who support more immigration, uh, or at least non-reductions, um, than people who support less. Um, 
and a serious but unsuccessful effort to reduce immigration would m likely make the uh, Republican problem with new immigrants worse. So it seems to me that, you know, sort of the, th there's a lot of naivete to the um, sort of Republican strategist conventional wisdom on how to, uh, how to deal with uh, the problems posed by immigration, that, you know, if you, if you move, if you move from 35 to 40 percent of this vote, it doesn't make up for the addition of hundreds of thousands of, of new voters that you're still losing. Um, on the other hand, if you accept as a given that you're not changing those levels, then I think that the, the strategy makes a lot more sense. And uh, while I and probably a lot of people in this room would like to figure out a strategy for changing our immigration policy, it's not obvious, at least at this late date in uh, the transformation of our politics, how you'd go about doing that.